hello friends i welcome you to my youtube channel mac p up so in today's video we will discuss riveted joints so in this video we will discuss uh, what is riveted joints what type of fasteners are joints we use generally in machines and uh, third one is what is the rivet and fourth one is how to do riveting what is the process of riveting i mean how to make a rivet joint and uh, last point will be how to do caulking and fullering and what are the caulking and fullering so let's start first one is the type of fastening are joints so there are two type of joints first one is permanent fastenings and second one is temporary or detachable fastenings so it means per in permanent fastening if we join two plates suppose uh, these are two plates and we have to join it by permanent fastening then suppose we can do welding here then it will become permanent joint so it is a permanent fastening similarly riveting is also a permanent fastener you cannot use same rivet to make a joint again okay but if you are using suppose nut and bolt suppose these two plates have to be joined and we use another plate and we use nut and bolts here and screws then we can unscrew it and we can dismantle the joint and we can again use it so temporary at a detachable joint is like nut and bolt joint screw joints and the lock and keys etc but permanent joint is like welding or riveted joints okay so next thing thing is what is rivet so rivet is a bar cylindrical bar this is cylindrical bar with a head attached to it so this is this is that the parts of the rivet first one is head which is top most portion of the rivet this is the body or shank of the rivet and this is the tail of the rivet so these these are the three parts of the rivet this is used to make joints in plates or any other components so why do we use riveted joints so riveted joints usually provide us uh, um, leak proof joints so it is basically used in ships ships and boiler okay so we will see how they provide leak proof joint and uh, if they are easy to inspect and the disadvantage of the riveted joints is that it makes plate weak suppose we have to join these two plates okay so we are making holes here okay so these holes area is removed material is removed from here it means plate is becoming weak uh, weak while if you are using welding then there is no need to make hole and welding joints are very strong like as strong as the original plate so if this is a rivet in this case head may may, not, may or may not be of this shape it may be of different shape there are different type of rivets it is only one of it okay second thing is for rivet joint you need clearance uh, you need you cannot do it in very compact place okay and uh, third we will see here how the riveting is done okay so if there are two plates one plate is this and this is second plate so these two plates have to be joined and riveting uh, by riveting joint so how we will make rivet so first of all if the plates are very thin suppose plate is very thin then we will do punching there is hydraulic press or something which will punch a hole between it, this this plate okay so these plates a hole is punched and if plate is very strong or thick then punching may not work then we will do drilling so first we will drill hole this hole is uh, usually 1.5 mm larger than the rivet diameter okay so hole is made then there is a die this is a die this is also called backup bar and in this head of the rivet is placed then plate are placed above the die and rivet is inserted here then above it we place another die and if it it is very small rivet then we just hammer it we use hammer and apply force here and this material we material is expand due to force and it will fill so it will become like this okay 
after we press it but if, if it is very strong rivet or very large diameter so we can use hydraulic press we can hi use hydraulic press and riveting is also done in two manners one is hot riveting one is cold riveting if it is very strong plates and big big rivet then we just heat this portion tail portion and we then uh, apply hydraulic press hydraulic force then it comes into this shape okay so this is how rivets are made so what is the advantage of hot riveting if we are using hot rivet then this rivet is heated and after it cools down it try to contract so this is the diameter uh, length of the rivet so suppose final diameter uh, length of the rivet should be like this after contraction but these plates will not let it contract so it will apply force on these plates okay this is this plate this rivet is trying to contract to become shorter so it will apply longitudinal force on these plates okay so it will make joint very tight it will become water tight and uh, last thing was in our video what is the caulking and fullering in riveted joints so suppose we are using a rivet in the boiler or ship building then we use uh, we we need very leak proof joint okay so this type of tool this is a caulking tool this type of tool is used and it is kept here on the head of the rivet and then it is hammered and it is rotated once you hammer here then here then here then here and it is hammered through 360 degree at all the points and at this plate edge also it is hammered so in this case you see the shape of rivet is changing and the gap between plate fills here also if there was any gap then it fills so it makes joints leak proof okay but one disadvantage of caulking was that while you are hammering it while you are hammering it it is very small diameter so stress is concentrated at this point so this may damage this plate okay here also this may damage this plate because you are hammering from here so it is striking here so plate may get damaged that's why nowadays caulking is not used but fullering is used so what is fullering in fullering this thickness of the tool is increased and it is same as the thickness of the plate so stress is distributed suppose you are using very a small point then stress will be more but if you are using larger point then stress will distributed along this area so similar similarly here also stress is distributed so in this case also we can make uh, leak proof joints and now that fullering is mainly used for making joints leak proof okay so i hope you understood what is rivet, rivet joints and what is rivet and what is caulking and fullering and uh, if you have any doubt then you can ask in the comment section if you like this video then please subscribe and search, share to our channel and i hope you will watch next videos in our playlist so that you can get better idea of riveted joints thank you